Good evening, and welcome to Wednesday Evening Vespers, First United Methodist Church of Ann Arbor. This week's happy attitude is mercy. Those actions that treat others with compassion or offer forbearance, grace, to those who have offended or owe you. We live in community. Someone is always in need of mercy. Let us turn once again to the elements of our faith, scripture, song, and prayer that continually guide us to act as Jesus taught us. Carry a little quiet inside you while the world continues in a rush and rage, fighting and frenzy. Carry a little quiet inside you so that the worry and war trouble and tumult do not capture you in their grip. Tarry in the sun-filled meadow of the heart beside the still waters where God's Spirit refreshes and renews. Carry so much quiet inside you that, that you have some extra, extra calm to share, share with, with me. me. Our opening hymn this evening is Depth of Mercy. Depth of mercy can there be Mercy still reserved for me Can my God his wrath forbear Me the chief of sinners Tonight's psalm is Psalm 103 from Nan Merrill's Psalms for Praying, An Invitation to Wholeness. Bless the beloved, O my soul, and all that is within me. I bless your holy name. Bless the beloved, O my soul, and remember the goodness of love. You forgive our stubbornness. You heal our disease. You save us from the snares of fear. You crown us with steadfast love and mercy. You satisfy our every need and renew our spirit like the eagles. Through you comes peace and justice for all who are oppressed. You make known the pathway of truth and guide us on the way. You are merciful and gracious, quelling our anger with your patient love. You love us more than we can ask or imagine. In truth, we belong to you. For you understand us, requiting us not according to our er ignorance and error. As far as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is your loving response toward those who are humble. So far does your enduring strength uphold those who face the darkness within. As parents are concerned for their children, so you come to those who reach out in faith. For our ways are known, our weaknesses seen with compassion. As for humanity, our days are like grass. We flourish like a follower of the field. When the wind passes over, it is gone, and that place knows it no more. Yet, the steadfast love of the beloved is from everlasting to everlasting to those who awaken, and justice 
to all generations, to those who remember your promises and follow your voice. The Beloved's home is in our hearts as we discover in the silence. Bless the Beloved, O you angels, you faith-filled ones who hear the word following the voice of love. Bless the Beloved, all you people, those who abandon themselves into love's hands. Praise the Beloved. Praise all of creation. Praise the Beloved, O my soul. Let us sing together, O Lord, hear my prayer. O Lord, hear my prayer. O Lord, hear my prayer. When I call, answer me. O Lord, hear my prayer. O Lord, hear my prayer. Come and listen to me. O Lord. Hear these words from the Apostle Paul as he writes to his fellow disciple Timothy, describing the grace and forgiveness he himself received on the road to Damascus. This is 1 Timothy chapter 1, verses 12 through 17, the Common English Bible. I thank Christ Jesus our Lord who has given me strength because he considered me faithful. So he appointed me to ministry, even though I used to speak against him, attack his people, and I was proud. But I was shown mercy because I acted in ignorance and without faith. Our Lord's favor poured all over me along with the faithfulness and love that are in Christ Jesus. This saying is reliable and deserves full acceptance. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, and I'm the biggest sinner of all. But that is why I was shown mercy so that Christ Jesus could show his endless patience to me first of all. So I am an example for those who are going to believe in him for eternal life. Now to the King of the ages, to the immortal, invisible, and only God, may honor and glory be given to him forever and always. Amen. It's not always easy to offer compassion. Sometimes we let our lack of patience and busyness get in the way. During tonight's reflection, consider whom God is calling you to show more mercy towards and give thanks for the times you were treated with compassion and mercy.
Let us pray. Loving God, touch and heal our siblings around the corner and around the world. Guide our leaders in the ways of peace. Give them wisdom, compassion, and loving hearts. Help us to follow the example of Jesus in our families and communities. Show us how to love without tiring, to care without numbing, to pray without ceasing. Make us vessels of your compassion and mercy. Amen. Thank you for traveling on this journey of faith as we seek to show mercy to those around us. Grant each of us a humble heart that is able to accept mercy from others. Now may your night be peaceful, full of rest, so that you rise in the morning ready to show mercy wherever there is a need. Join in this responsive benediction. From where we are to where you need us, Jesus, Jesus now, now lead, lead on. on. From the security of what we know to the adventure of what you will reveal, Jesus, Jesus now, now lead, lead on. on. To refashion the fabric of this world until it resembles the shape of your kingdom, Jesus, Jesus now, now lead, lead on. on. Because good things have been prepared for those who love God, Jesus, Jesus now, now lead, lead on. on. Go now in peace.